Hello! Welcome to Let's Try. We're trying Sears Gambit. This is a uh, another game. I'm gonna try and get this right th for once. This is another game by uh, Unleash the Giraffe. I covered uh, her game Obsidian Prince last year or the year before. Good lord, how long have I been doing this? Time flies. Um, this is a auto battler RPG. Um, it's a little bit of deck building mechanics in there, but really it's just kind of drafting mechanics. Um, and it's, you know, in the same field as like an auto chess. Uh, but I'm, I'm having a heck of a time with it. I, I like it so far there. I have some, I have some notes, but, uh, I do want to highlight it because so far I've had kind of mixed experiences with auto battlers, but I'm going to talk about this one. Um, so I'm just going to go and select, arbitrarily select a level here. Um, this is kind of like an open world ish, like choose your level structure thing. I, I really appreciate that it doesn't have the same kind of like the, the same thing I've complained about a lot, which is like the the road path that every single roguelike seems to have. Um, I think this is roguish. It really it just has permadeath. I think that's that's where that begins and ends. Um, we have on our left side there, uh, you know, if you've, you're, if you have any um, experience with auto battlers, you'll, you'll be familiar with this kind of like faction tags. So whenever you highlight a new unit, it'll tell you, hey, this synergizes in a very kind of mechanical sense and you'll get X, Y, and Z new powers and that works fine. A um, couple of things I appreciate is that we have an option to make them do their ultimate um, when it's ready. So basically I set that to any uh, character where the ultimate is just always a good thing to use. And then I have certain uh, characters like a cleric or like a druid here that it's advantageous to use their ultimate at a certain time. We have positioning. Um, I, I largely kind of ignore this, maybe to my own deficit, but I don't really want to spend time trying to figure that out. To be honest, I've never understood positioning in auto battlers. It's one of my complaints about them is they've never really made it clear to me when, like how to use positioning tactics in their own games. So we are getting pretty stomped here. Okay, two of our dudes have died. Um, oh, we might actually lose here. Maybe? No, I managed to save the druid and our ice character. Let's see if we win. Hey, everyone came back. So uh, I guess the p two people that survived get some experience. No one else does. We get some loot. A uh, bunch of money. And a hurricane. Hurricane. Very good. All right. We'll go ahead and give that to the one person who doesn't have an equipment. And also someone leveled up. The ice, ice Merelda leveled up. Um, let's see what we want to give her ability. Uh, we'll just... Increase her attack speed. Hoping... Okay, we're we're going to get a new character. Although I think our team is full. Maybe. So this one would synergize with one of our tags. Uh, these are both nobles. Let's see if I can grab this. I can grab this guy. Okay, cool. Uh, there is a limit to five characters in the tutorial. So I guess it's been expanded in this new... Uh, in the mainland. I just finished the tutorial and now I'm moving on to the mainland. So I, I have no doubt that I'm going to get stomped here. I'm kind of surprised there's no way to heal our dudes, but we're just going to see how this plays out. Might might actually lose here. It's really funny. I've been like stomping consistently every single battle. And as soon as I start the video, very typical as is the YouTube way. As soon as I start the video, I, I get stomped. But hey, uh, at least four of our dudes are going strong here. If I can uh, get through with them still alive, that would I would count that as a win. Obviously, all of the enemies have abilities and I can like hover over them and, and see what they are. Let me see here. So we got an Inferno Cloak. Every second do 10 to 11 damage in area of effect. We obviously want to give that to someone who is a melee user, um, probably City Guard Fernandez. On kill, you have a 50% chance to repair 14 to 6, 26 armor. That's also pretty good. Obviously, more survivability would be really nice. Let's give that to the druid. She had a, a an attack lance, which I do actually really like. 
wondering if I could give that... Can I give that... Okay, the, yeah, he didn't have a weapon, so that's good. So, feed medallion. Party takes 50% health damage. Drop item crow medallion. On attack, gain one point towards ultimate. Nah. I, I have found um, this game does... It, it's early still. It needs more events because I've gotten this event three times. And actually, it, I got it two times in a row. But it's a very consistently like, oh, you know, just feed the crows, you get a bunch of money. So I don't know. Um, when I have her over, we do see like how far each of our abilities work. But like as soon as I hit the begin battle, it almost feels irrelevant because everyone gets shuffled around so quickly that I really don't understand necessarily what the function of this is. Like, I almost feel like it's a mechanic that feels like it needs to be there, but doesn't actually contribute much to the strategy of the game because of how chaotic it is in nature. But I, I could be wrong about that. That could be me fundamentally misunderstanding how the game works. Really hoping that we survive this. I need a cleric. My lads are surviving. If I could get my druid to heal herself, that'd be great. That's like her ability as she heals herself. Everyone is recovering slowly, so this is actually going very well. Cool. So, so far, I, I've been kind of enjoying this as like a mindless little like, you know, throw your dudes against some other dudes, level up, get some stuff. And I think it's really good for that. Um, I don't think I've been necessarily enjoying it for any kind of strategic value. I don't know if there's a lot of that other than make sure that you build your your team so that it synergizes well. And you can get very granular with it. Like, obviously, if I look in, at this, I can see uh, cool abilities that they can obtain. Um, I can see, like, what they're capable of. But I, I get, in the same sense as, uh, like, you know, this range of attack, I'm not sure how to put that together um, and how to, like make sense of all of that information so for me maybe i'm smooth brained but i i just kind of enjoy like taking some dudes figuring out how they play in combat and then watching the comp the, the chaos ensue this is not going well our druid is dead and everyone's dead okay party vanquished all right, we'll find out firsthand what happens when we die and what kind of uh, p potential meta progression there is available. This is just a step closer to victory. Keep exploring and upgrading the world and eventually you might grow strong enough to save it. The seer will go back in time now and try and save the world again. In the full game, you'll be able to start a new game from any tavern you've unlocked. The demo only has one tavern. Okay, but uh, I assume the upgrades I made are still available. Um, it looks like I can upgrade this anyway. That's odd. I guess it's because I made it there, technically. I can't upgrade this place. I guess it doesn't have any upgrades. So yeah, you do upgrade um, areas, and when you do, it says increase your health by 10%. So that's kind of the meta progression. I guess um, the nice thing about this meta progression is that you can uh, advance it while you're playing the game. That's kind of uh, one thing I do prefer, or one version of meta progression I prefer, is that if you can pr advance it while you're playing the game, then it doesn't necessarily incentivize you to die in order to progress. Um, and I've had a lot of complaints with meta progression in the past, but that's like, I think the the baseline threshold that I'm willing to tolerate. We can uh, fast forward this, by the way. The ability to fast forward is very appreciated and it definitely means I can double down on my smooth brain tactics. Okay, this is something we needed. That's a cleric right there. And also, let's just go ahead and set that to that, set that to that. Do not set the cleric. I do wish I could shuffle these around. I wish I could move these around so I can choose the uh, hotkey for them. But that's a minor criticism. So we're just gonna like speed run the game here. What do we got? Tiny hammer on attack, 50% chance to repair armor. 15 health, seven crit. Um, we'll give that to the Ice Maiden. Uh, none of these are great, actually. So there it is. There's the event again. Get more money. Um, yeah, game, game needs more events. 
a lot more events. Maybe I'm just very lucky. Maybe that's just an event I've gotten a lot of. So this is this might give us a little bit of trouble since there's a lot of them, but we have a cleric now, so her ultimate ability is obviously to heal everyone. So that will give us a lot of survivability, but it seems like I'm doing a good job without that ability for now. Okay, shop. You get on attack, apply bleed. Um, characters can only have one item, so I do find myself in this position quite often where I'm like, oh, a shop? Yeah, I don't, I'm good. The game gave me enough items. Hey, a new event. Give everyone thorns 10 for 300 minutes. Apply and bleed. 20 over 5 to party. Uh, that is, uh, a lot of that is interesting. I wonder, so they're going to take some damage, but then have thorns for 300 minutes. Is, is that in, like, real time? If you don't take an item, by the way, it's not, like, uh, worthless. It'll actually give you the, the, the value money for it. Um, let's take plus seven attack damage for Ice Merelda. And did someone else level up? Nope. I do really like the music, actually. It's, it's really charming to me. In fact, the whole game is pretty charming. I, I don't think that this is necessarily the, mo the deepest version of an auto ba battler, but I do think it's just... Um, a fun one, a, a kind one, maybe, if I am allowed to say that. Could take another Ice Merelda. Let's take another Ice Merelda. Ice to meet you. Yeah, you had to. You just had to. I wonder if I... Yeah, if I hit... Uh, f times four is the maximum speed. Oh, we had to... Uh, we want to set that to use her ability. Okay, we, we do have a new character, so they uh, we can give them an item. What is this? On ability, add 15% of your armor to your next given damage. Chance to heal. Sure. And we have a bunch of money here, so this we could give someone 140 health. On kill, gain empower, doubling damage of the hero for one attack. Sounds really good, actually. What is... Um, Halberd Strike is 15 to 33 damage. 34 to 51 damage. Maybe we give this to one of our Ice Mereldas. Or when another character in your group crit, heal them for 15 to 20, gain 10 chance for a critical strike. There's a lot of stuff happening there. On heal, add 6 to 8 bonus health to effect. Now, is, it, is that when a hero heals someone else, or is that when a character is healed? I'm just going to give this to our uh, cleric. What was this doing on attack? Yeah, the cleric wasn't even attacking as far as I know. What is this doing? Extra health and crit. Um, Sure, we can give... What is their armor anyway? Do, 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 do. The, the, some of the... Parts of this game really do remind me of um, Banjo and Kazooie. Okay, so this actually tells us uh, about synergies. I didn't even realize this, but I guess you're not incentivized to have multiples of the same tag. You're actually incentivized to have different tags because then that un un unlocks the potential of a character. I'm learning things. I'm learning things. Looks like we really need a merchant. Okay. Sure, we'll receive another boon of thorns. Why not? So I'm just having... I, I got my finger hovering over the three key so that if uh, things ever look dire, the cleric will heal everyone. But it's looking... That's looking fine. We got a couple of level ups. On heal, add three to seven bonus health uh to effect yeah let's double down on healing that sounds good and then uh this guy um, also leveled up yeah let's give him some more attack damage all right we made it to the next zone we have i guess seven days before the end of the world and we're trying to level up enough before 
uh, that happens. Classic, you know, classic uh, progression system. So let's, um, can we upgrade this again? No, we don't have enough stones or magic. Form a mercantile caravan. Unlock Swiss cheese of protection. The holes are imported. Not available in demo. Okay. And this is blocked in demo. Looks like we can't go there. Can, where can we go? Can't go there? Can go here. Okay, we'll go there then. Yeah, I should. I don't know if I said this is the demo. This game isn't out yet and it's still pretty early and I'm just trying things out. Boom, 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 boom. We're doing, we have a pretty good uh, gang of uh, mages, but maybe we should have another melee or gallant canther seems like it could be good. Oh, we can see the armor there. Okay. Ooh, this guy really hurt me last time. So let's see how we do this time. Now that we have a, uh, an actual healer. We should also set that to use their ultimate when they have it. Nice. This looks like it's going much better this time. This guy's got a huge area of effect, but also no one's really taken any damage yet except them. I'm going to go ahead and use my cleric ability right away. Ouch. Come on. Oh, God. That guy really sucks. That's okay. He's dead now. Um, we can recover this guy over the next couple of combats with our cleric, hopefully. Um, I do really like Flora the Duelist. We could take another healer. That's actually not a bad idea. Sure, let's take another healer. So now it's E and three. I'm just going to use E right away. I healed again. Just so, like, they'll they'll recover their ability before the end of the combat. Oh, God. That's it's not looking super great. Okay, now that was actually pretty good. I'm, I'm really playing, uh, playing things fast and loose by having things on fast forward. Plus 30 armor on attack, you gain 5% chance to become invulnerable. I do like this one. It's good for a melee user. Um, I guess I could give this toxic personality to the cleric. I think they do attack. Maybe not. Not sure. We'll level up. Um, Ice Merelda can take the next set. Let's give her some more armor. More survivability seems like a good idea. Receive Boon of Wood. All party members gain plus 10 armor. Cool. So they all got a little... Oh, not this guy again. I'm actually going to slow things down just to times two. Things are happening pretty quickly, actually. Okay, we heal. We heal again. We live, we die, we live again, we heal. Oh, come on. Get, get rid of him. All right, cool. The biggest threat is, is out of the way. Okay, staggering those heals really does help. We got ourselves a Vigilant Razor. After anyone uses their ultimate, your next uh, damage dealt apply 3 to 12 bleed damage. Uh, that sounds great, actually. What is this? Since, what are we using here? 5% chance to heal. Uh, that's awful. 5% chance doesn't sound very good. I, I really wish that people would um, double down on the idea of instead of like 5% chance of X happening, instead it's like every fifth thing. Because then at least you can kind of like mentally math that out and know that there's a consistency to it. Of course, every five would be um, a lot worse than every, what is it, 20? Isn't it like every 20th attack would be 5%? Our Ice Meraldas are doing a great job of like freezing those dudes before they're able to 
get their attack off. Lots of good things happening here. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm pretty happy with what we've got right now, and I don't have enough money. Blessing of power. All characters do 100% more damage for 10 seconds in the next fight. Sure. I love the little snails. The fact that they're really fast is also really funny to me. Also, our cleric died, like, instantly. I guess all of the snails targeted the cleric. Level up. Um, yeah, more armor. I think we're doing okay for damage. Oh, this, this is going to be brutal. I don't like this. Oh god. Ugh. No, yeah, that guy was there's no way he was going to survive all that. Come on. I just barely got that heal off. Okay, that was that was close, but it it worked out. These guys are also kind of uh, annoying. They, they, I think they heal. They'll even heal themselves, so they, they take a long time to actually take out. Um, do we have anyone new? No, it looks like everyone's equipped. So we'll just go ahead and let the chips lay. Uh, City Guard Fernandez. Just give him more armor. Everyone gets more survivability. You get more survivability and you get more survivability. Yeah, let's give you more health. Uh, I do really like El Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Except our team is full. If I could get a merchant, that would be amazing. Uh, you know what we'll do is we'll s we'll sell this Esmeralda and take this one because they have uh, a couple of extra abilities. And I guess we'll then give her that equipment. We just upgraded our Ice Merelda, essentially. Is this guy... No, he's got two health. Okay, we're going to want to heal him right away. Ugh. Did we... Oh, no, that guy's still alive. Forgot to set up Ice Merelda here to auto-use her thing. Oh, God. No, he's dead again. Lots of things happening here that is not great. <laughs> I'm using both heals just to like double up. Oh, that guy almost died as well. Flesh suit. No, we're good. Um... So there's some cool equipment synergies. This one is on attack. If enemy has poison, they do extra damage. We actually do have a thing that does add poison. So that's not a bad thing to take. Target ally, target all ally and heal for one whenever anyone in the team crits. That's a lot. That's kind of cool though. This one is whenever anyone uses their ultimate, your next damage dealt apply bleed. Which is pretty cool. Uh, I think I do want to add this though because we are doing some bleed damage. Sorry, uh, is that is it bleed or poison? Ask for her blessing. This is the wandering maiden, and everyone gets a little bit of health. Like when I say a little bit of health, I really mean like nothing. Oh god. Okay, let's put everyone in the center here and like maybe I guess protect the clerics somewhat. This will be the ultimate test. Does, it, does positioning actually matter? I still say no because like a lot of the enemies just like made a beeline for my cleric. So like, you know, what was what was the point? We took out that guy pretty handily though. I like that this guy, the 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 like um evil monk whatever will like do these little ba ba ba's um okay on ring of frost kill use <laughs> ring of frost again 
Okay, on Ice Block Kill, gain plus one ultimate power permanently. Interesting. Esmeralda becomes melee gains plus 15. Mm. I kind of like this. This seems like a it seems this seems like a trap to be honest. But uh, you know, consider me the fish. So we've made it. We've made it to our next location. This will push the map back a bit. Show us some new locations. Can we upgrade this one? No, nah. I guess we don't have enough. We don't have enough resources. This is blocked in demo. Can we go over here? We can go over here. So obviously a lot of things are not developed yet. Game's got a long way to go. Um, but I like I'm, I'm enjoying what I'm playing so far. It's just a it's a very fast and loose little RPG. And I think that that is all a game needs to be. You know, I, I enjoy that. I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, we'll go ahead and give our new cleric, our new and better cleric, uh, an upgrade. Ooh, new enemy, Venomous Mycomancer. Or is it Mycomancer? Let's see how this goes. So far, so good. No one's taken any damage yet. No, no meaningful damage anyway. Okay, now we heal. We want to stagger our heal if we can. Oh, damn. I was really hoping we could get through this without losing someone. Oh, I, I do really like this. This thing is uh, three armor per second every second to do two to three damage in area of effect within two range. It's a lot, but um, all that really means is we get some survivability back and we also do a little bit of damage outwards. Ooh, this guy is uh, much better than our current Gallant. So let's go ahead and sell our current Gallant and then we'll buy this one and then we'll equip them and then we'll level them up uh, and we'll give them more armor. Since I'm kind of doubling down on armor. I like that a portrait border has this like really nice frame. Oh, I forgot to set them to use their ultimate. Like right away. Lots of things happening and it all looks pretty good to me. Can't say I, I can make any sense of any of it, but you know. Throw some coins in. Uh, heal everyone in the party for 50. Nah. We're good. So we just like, at this point, we like hit button, make dopamine button, do the thing. And, uh, you know, it all, it's all working out pretty good. I think I have a pretty good team comp. Whether or not I did that intentionally or not, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll never know. Maybe I'm just like very good at this game. <laughs> I don't, I can't even, I couldn't even say it with a straight face. I really like these, uh, these mushroom lads. They got little fancy mu uh, mustaches as well. Mustaches. That's really hard to say, actually. So, yeah, I mean, I, my experience with auto battlers has been, um, mixed because I never really understand how to make sense of it all. I, I definitely like synergizing things. Um, wow, these guys are really... They're, they're not going down without a fight is all I'll say. Um, you know, the game, I think the, these games expect you to like really hyper analyze a lot of things. And maybe that's that's what people enjoy. Like, oh, you know, let's look at this enemy um, and like figure out how they work and uh you know build accordingly and then like position our characters so that they do really well and you know um i'm sure that there's a lot of enjoyment that can be had there party takes 50 percent damage on attack gain one points towards ultimate eh let's steal it let's see what happens let's uh give it to this one And we'll heal right away. 
Uh, but like for me, I just kind of like to, you know, throw things together and see what happens. I do enjoy an auto battler. I, I do treat them kind of like a deck builder. They are kind of drafting games, but they're a very different breed. And they definitely encourage very different kinds of play styles that I are alien to myself. Uh, I think there's there's like, you know, the them kind of stemming from Dota really did um, like guide their guide the methodology towards uh, making an auto battler. Like, I think a lot of what makes it fun for people stems from uh, from MOBAs heal over time health per second. This is a really good item. I would love to use it. I guess we could give it to a cleric, but you know, I, I, is this better than 140 health? Who's uh, the one that takes damage all the time? No, they have that armor thing. That's already survivability in their own right. What if we just give it to Ice Merelda? All noble gains. Oh, this is uh, this synergizes with nobles, huh? On heal, commoner gain plus one permanent ability and ultimate power. On kill gain. Okay, well, we want to double down on heal. Um, so we could get this Maxim the Mercenary. But our team is full. So I would have to give someone up. I kind of like everyone that we have right now. Something I do appreciate is that when you you sell a unit and grab another one, they get to level up a little bit, so you don't lose all of the progression that you made with that one character. Maybe we give up one of our Ice Meraldas. I don't know. Maybe I just pass this up. We could, like, just rotate. Nah. Nah. Uh, okay, there we go. City Guard Fernandez. We'll, we'll definitely trade our City Guard Fernandez for a different City Guard Fernandez. Um, we can just take better attack speed. Sure, why not? And then make sure that they are auto performing their uh, ultimate. This is a. Wait, at least we do have level variety. So, like, I like this bridge kind of became a choke point. But now this is bad because these guys are like infinitely spawning these enemies and i don't know if i'm gonna make it to them <laughs> okay we are slowly pushing on them my, my goodness they they do know how to make a lot of little mushroom lads let's just heal everyone a little bit because i'm pretty sure they they're gonna gain some permanent upgrades Ah, we're good for that but we do get to level up on damaging an enemy with blind gain plus one armor permanently. I think we do have something, someone that causes blind. After magnetic presence do... Oh, that sounds great, actually. That's the... This guy, like, sucks everyone in and then does a huge attack. So that, that'll actually make his attack even better. We don't have any money. We'll receive boon of thorns. Sure, why not? We're just, like... We're just rolling right now. We're rolling. We'll heal a little bit. I think uh, I think we're good to fight the ultimate evil lord at this point. So what is this? Thorn shield. P applies thorns that cause 70 to 10 retaliatory damage with within three range. Now oh, we're good. I think we're okay. All right, we made it. Everyone's doing very well for themselves. We have two more days before uh, before the end of the world. Can we upgrade this town? Yes, we can. So that'll do increase your minimum attack damage by 10%. And we can go over here. I'm not even going to check the other ones because uh, history has shown that none of the other levels are available. Um, we could play the gambit here. Ooh. Another City Guard Fernandez epic. Do I want that though? Kind of like our, I really like our team comp right now. It's working out very well. So unless I get an epic uh, Ice Merelda, I really don't think that there's much reason to, to, you know, fix the wheel. 
if it ain't fixed don't break it you know that's how it goes right oh let's uh go in uber fast mode I feel like this border is broken because this city guard Fernandez has the epic border, but only between combats. Uh, unreliable armor kit. Nah. We good. Um, I guess I'll rotate it once just to try and get a better version of what I've already got. Okay, we heal. We heal again. Uh, someone might die. They didn't die. We're great. We're great. We're wonderful. We're doing amazing. Sure, we get a blessing. We're blessed. <laughs> no, pay zero mind to any strategy. Uh, uh, pay the consequences. Consequences are being paid for in blood right now. Oh my god. A lot of people died just now. It was not great. Not great. Uh, plus 50 health. Uh, I kind of want to give them more ultimate power because this is the one. Yeah, the magnetic presence. We want them to do even more with their magnetic presence. If I see a cleric ability, I'm going to use it right away. And we have recovered a little bit. Can you imagine, like, uh, this, you know, I could play this at real-time speed and really get granular with, like, when certain characters use their abilities. But good lord, I would not be able to pay that close attention. Oh, wow, someone died. I can't believe it. This is not going well, actually. These guys are, like, making... Wow, we, we just lose. That's just too many mushroom people. Too many. I suppose if I had been like choosing, picking my moment for everyone to use their ultimate, maybe they could have pushed through to the the mushroom uh, sorcerers. But anyway, there's that's Sears Gambit. I didn't, uh, I did not play it to the best of my ability. But uh, also, the game is early, and I feel like it will change um, quite a lot. But I'm liking what I'm seeing right now. Uh, I do like the RPG aspect of this kind of auto builder uh, battler, where you're traveling around the world and and leveling up and even building up the world as you do um it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel roguelike-ish it feels just like a very casual rpg to me um and i i feel like that uh, if this game leans into that and away from like rogue like natures um then then i think that this will be a very good game um I think that if it doubles down on the roguelike thing, then it'll feel like it's in a very crowded field or genre. Um, but I haven't seen a lot or too many like casual RPGs. Um, maybe maybe there are a bunch and I just don't know too many of them. But uh, maybe, maybe I just want more of that and less of roguelike. Um, but anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.